Leanne Lee earned their popularity with 011 Dynamic, one of the best PC cases out there. Since then, they have been known for their sleek and stylish design, as seen with their uni fans. Now the company has decided to bring all those great design cues to AIOs, and the result is one of the best-looking, high-performance CPU coolers out there. Before I proceed, there is one thing you need to be aware of. Previously, with the original Galahad and Galahad Trinity Performance, Leanne Lee had a lot of issues with overall quality control. Failure reports were high, and their in-house pump design was the main culprit. Since then, Leanne Lee has switched to an aesthetic design with their new Galahad 2 line, and durability is much better as a result. While an aesthetic pump might sound similar to what every other manufacturer is using, Leanne Lee is using one of the best options from aesthetic. It's a powerful pump that goes up to 3600 RPM, and the motor inside promises impressively high flow rates compared to the original Galahad. Now, in terms of sheer numbers, the Galahad 2 uses a 360mm radiator with a thickness of 30mm. It also comes with Leanne Lee's SL Infinity RGB fans. These fans look great and can spin up to an RPM of 2450. However, the star of the show is the new LCD display CPU block. We've seen this in CPU coolers like the ID Cooling SL360 Space and the NZXT Kraken Elite RGB360. With that said, compared to both of those coolers, the Galahad 2 LCD offers better performance. This is because of the higher RPM pump and the faster fans. Coming back to the LCD display, it uses an IPS panel with a resolution of 480 by 480. It's sharp, vibrant, and customizable. You can use Lian Lee's software suite to display your images, videos, or GIFs on the block. It also comes with a fan control hub if you get the SL Infinity fan version. This allows you to add additional RGB fans and accessories for synchronized lighting. In terms of performance, it is quite impressive. It features a slightly larger copper contact plate than the original, and it's optimized for AM5 and LGA1700 processors. I would have liked to see a contact frame included at this price, since there is not, which is a bit of a shame. Regardless, this cooler can easily handle the 13900K or the 14900 at full throttle, and it even leaves a bit of room for overclocking. Compared to Kraken Elite RGB360 and the original Galahad, a CPU like the 13900K can hit its maximum performance with no undervolting required. Thermal throttling won't be an issue, which is something you'd expect at this price. Apart from the superb cooling performance, Galahad 2 has a few features that are hard to find on cheaper alternatives. For example, it has a bigger cold plate than something like the Kraken Elite 360. It also has rotatable tubing that allows you to adjust the orientation for more flexible and cleaner cable routing. This also prevents issues with RAM clearance. The rotatable tubing comes with dedicated brackets, allowing you to lock them into position to prevent unexpected movements. Unfortunately, all that performance does come at a cost. Also, even though it uses a powerful pump, it tends to get noisier than other coolers out there. It doesn't get uncomfortably loud, but you'd expect it to be relatively quiet given the price. If you don't care about the looks of the SL Infinity fans, you can easily get about the same level of performance from Arctic Liquid's cheaper AIOs. All that being said, it's still one of the best CPU coolers. It's expensive, sure, but if you're building a high-end gaming PC with great aesthetics as a priority, it's worth it. To sum up, what I like is the excellent performance. The SL Infinity fans look and perform great and the large IPS LCD block. On the downside, it's quite expensive and it tends to get a bit loud. Our rating for design and aesthetics are 9 out of 10. Cooling performance, 9 out of 10. Noise, 8 out of 10. Installation, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 7.5 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10.